Hello, hello, hello. Welcome or welcome back to My Peace is Priceless. Thank you for joining me today for another cash stuffing video. Today I will be unstuffing my rollovers from my previous week, whatever uh, leftovers I have from my everyday cash wallet. And I will be stuffing some of my wallets as well. Some of my wallets. <laughs> some of my envelopes as well. I believe I'll be stuffing a total of $250 today. And we shall see how much we have left over from the previous week. But before we get into that, I want to say thank you to all my existing subscribers and to all my new subscribers. Thank you for deciding to subscribe to my channel. I truly appreciate you. As of today's video, I have 430 subscribers and I am trying to get to 1,000 ultimately, but I am going to do a giveaway once I reach my 500 subscribers. So we are 70 subscribers away. So if you've been watching my videos but haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it and turn on a no notification bell so you'll um, get notified when I upload my videos and so you'll be able to come along with me on my journey my debt-free journey and just my budgeting journey as well we um have cool vibes over here <laughs> i hope you all had an amazing day if not there's still enough hours in the day um without further ado we're gonna get into it so first let me I'm sorry, I'm looking at my, um, this nail, I've just bent it and I thought I cracked it, but I didn't. So yes, let's get into this counting of the cash. Let me get my, uh, handy dandy tacky. This has lasted me for so long. I've had this for over a year. Now, keep in mind, I did go on about a, what, six, seven month hiatus. But still, it does still last a long, long time and you don't need a lot. So, let's see what we have. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And 10, 20, 30, 150. Two hundred and two fifty. So two hundred and fifty dollars is what we're going to be stuffing today. But first, let's see what we have from our rollovers. So, how will you all been doing today? And since I last uploaded a video, just in general, in my chai tea, I did not spend anything so I have well actually no that's not true that is not true Saturday I did go to Starbucks and I did get me something that came up to $12 and I want to say hmm no it wasn't $12 it was $7.37 but I already paid for that so I am going to save all of this money you know my fives and my singles goes into my little Fives in one container. And then it's $10 I'm going to set aside for something else. So we'll put that back here. In my splurge envelope, which is my personal spending. I have 5, 10, 11. So that's good. And in my... Oh, that's it. I thought I had more. I don't. I thought I had something left over from my household. But I don't. Okay. So we have a total of 10, 15, 20, 25, 26. $26. But the $16 is going to go into my ones and fives. Oops, sorry guys. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> it just laid out nicely. So I'll leave it like that. Okay. Put that back over here. Now let's get into these envelopes. So for households, I'm going to put my usual 30, I believe. And I'm going to do it in all fives. So that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 10, 20, 30. I don't know why I have so many fives. I didn't, um, I told the cashier, the cashier, not the cashier. I told the teller that I didn't really have a preference today on um, how I wanted my cash. I was actually quite annoyed because for some reason, I've been going to this bank well over two years now. I go to the ATM and the teller window equally amount of the same times. So they still treat me like I'm a new customer and I feel like I'm being interrogated uh, when I'm just trying to make a withdrawal. It never happens when I'm doing a deposit, right? But it's only when I'm doing a withdrawal. And I was quite irritated today behind it. I, I still got my money, but this just keeps happening. So I really think I may um, change my direct deposit to one of my other bank's accounts. I'll obviously leave some funds in there. I might see if I can, I have to speak to HR and see if I can split split it up um because i'm just i'm just thoroughly irritated but in any event i'm actually gonna put some monies in groceries today as you know i use my credit card to do my spending but this particular uh paycheck i'm going to put the money in the um envelope. I'm still going to swipe my card and I'm going to see if I can actually stick within the budget of how much I put in the in the envelope, which is going to be $135. So that's $100, it's $20, it's $35, $10, $15, $35, $35, $35, $35, $35, $35, $35, $35, $35, $35, $35, $35, $35, $35, $35, $35, $35, $35, $35, $35, $35, $35, $35, $35, $35, $35, $35, $35, $35, $35, $
Um, well, yeah, I'm going to see how far this money can stretch me to the end of the month. This is just something I'm challenging myself to, you know, if I don't stick to it, it's just nothing serious. But with the exception of household, I know I'm going to probably use everything in household and probably going to use everything in groceries. But these two envelopes, I'm going to see if I can stretch them. We'll see. So that's that. Everyday wallet is stuff. And this $10, I am going to put towards savings. Um, I am implementing some new savings challenges into my savings videos, but I haven't finished making up the trackers yet. So once I do all of that, um, this $10 will be going into the first savings challenge. So we're at the end of this video. Again, I hope you have an amazing day. If not, there's still some hours left in the day for you to turn that around. But until then, you know what to do. Continue budgeting. Later.